Meghan Markle dealt major blow as new podcast hits big snagged before it's even started. Meghan Markle is putting all of her efforts into her lifestyle brand, but has in turn hit some stumbling blocks in her latest podcast deal. That's according to Mail Online's diary editor, Richard Eden, who said archetypes will be released in conjunction with Lemonada Media next year at the earliest. Meghan's new deal with Lemonada was announced back in February, with the 42-year-old expressing her excitement at making a return to the podcasting world after an abrupt end to her Spotify deal. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. A statement on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's website, sussex.com read, I'm proud to now be able to share that I am joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting. Writing for the Daily Mail, Mr. Eden said, a source, who is based in California, tells me there is not expected to be any work broadcast this year. The relaunch of Megan's Archetypes podcast got pushed back to 2025. Mr. Eden also writes that Lemonada were not keen for the podcast's launch to be overshadowed by Meghan's forthcoming Netflix series, which has already started filming. Confirming the show, Netflix said that it will celebrate the joys of cooking and gardening, entertaining and friendship. According to Mr. Eden's article, Lemonada are concerned there could be scheduling conflicts between the podcast launch and Meghan's new series. Sources have also claimed that Meghan had a list of very high-profile guests scheduled to appear on her new podcast. Guests who appeared on Archetypes, Meghan's Spotify podcast which was released in 2021, included Mariah Carey and tennis legend Serena Williams. But the excitement of her podcasting success was cut short after just 12 installments. Hours after the end of Meghan and Harry's Spotify deal was announced, Bill Simmons, Spotify's head of podcast innovation, blasted the couple and branded them F Grifters. Meghan and Harry released less than 13 hours of content during their three year deal with Spotify, but the new deal struck with Lemonada was thought to be part of a new era for the couple as they continue launching new business ventures. Speaking at the time of the reveal of Meghan's new deal with Lemonada, she said, being able to support a female-founded company with a roster of thought-provoking and highly entertaining podcasts is a fantastic way to kick off 2024. Our plan to re-release Archetypes so that more people can now have access to it, as well as launching a dynamic new podcast are well in the works. I'm so eager to be able to share it soon, and I'm overjoyed to be joining the Lemonade family. Meghan Markle received yet another humiliating blow after an anonymous royal fan who appeared to hijack her new website managed to raise tens of thousands of pounds for a food bank charity in less than a week. The incident took place last Thursday and while the official US version of her site, AmericanOrchardRiviera.com, remained intact, someone created a UK domain which led to a food bank website. The UK website led to a Trussell Trust landing page and then a fundraiser, which carried a special message for the Princess of Wales, who is currently undergoing treatment for a type of cancer. The Just Giving fundraiser featured the message, not Meghan. Hope Meghan wouldn't mind. Thoughts with Catherine. X. While the target of the fundraiser was £1,000, on Sunday afternoon it had received more than 18 times its initial target totaling £18,656 from 1,407 people. However, on Monday morning even more funds were raised as the total came up to £21,911 from 1,609 people. The money will go towards the Trussell Trust which works to stop UK hunger and poverty. It is understood the user is not affiliated with the charity. Meghan Markle Soft launched her latest business venture, lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard, last month.